to my channel it's Ruth Patootie here and I'm back with another video so you guys already know the drill if you've already been subscribed to my channel welcome back and if you are new do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below okay thank you very much anyway in today's video I'm coming at you guys with a review of a new line of products by as I am naturally we all know them as as I am and I always forget that the naturally part <laughs> is at the end of that little you know logo there but as I am naturally recently a couple months ago actually came out with a new line of products the long and luxe products actually sitting right here behind me um, and it comes with a range of products the main ingredients that we're gonna be focusing on in this line are pomegranates and passion fruit and this new line of products is meant to really aid in helping you retain length and have your hair beautiful luxe and long see what they did there so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to review these products because I believe Either in my last video or in the video prior, I talked about length retention. And I talked about my top three tips for retaining length. And those tips were um, detangling was my number one, moisturizing, and stretching. And that's what we're going to do today. We are going to be using these products and testing them out if they really will work in helping us retain length by helping us detangle, moisturize, stretch, and style. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so first up we have detangling. As you can see, my hair is in a pretty old and messy twist out. And detangling can be done at any and several steps of your wash routine. You'll notice that I incorporate it at different points, different forms throughout my routine, starting with just finger detangling with water. Up next, we have this strengthening shampoo, which has amazing lather that I feel is perfect for detangling. Again, you'll see with the shampoo process, I will be finger detangling my hair. And when a shampoo lathers very well and has pretty decent slip like this one, it makes that finger detangling process a whole lot easier. So in addition to being a great detangler and not being stripping of the hair, this product smells amazing. So up next we have the Grow Wash which is the co-wash product for this line and this is actually my first experience with an As I Am co-wash product because I've always heard so much about their coconut co-wash so it was great to finally get my hands on this and this product feels almost like a minimally lathering conditioner. It's weird because it's a conditioner but it almost feels like a cleanser at the same time. It feels really moisturizing on my hair as you can see I'm able to easily detangle finger detangling using it the co-wash could be used by itself without shampooing prior the only reason I shampooed first was because I had a lot of buildup in my hair and I felt like my scalp really needed some deep cleaning so as you can see my hair is very moisturized you can see my curls are starting to pop which is a great indication that your hair is doing pretty well Up next, I'm following in with the hydrating and strengthening conditioner, which I'm using a pretty generous amount to saturate my hair with. And as you can see, I'm finally introducing the use of a detangling tool to kind of get the parts of my hair that my finger wasn't able, my fingers weren't able to tackle. Now, my thoughts on this conditioner, um, as a first impression, it was a little bit disappointing because it wasn't as moisturizing um, on my hair as I expected it to be. I mean, the shampoo and the co-wash did a wonderful job of making my hair feel um, very well moisturized but this kind of I don't know was subpar for me Alright y'all, I'm finally out the steamy shower, we thank God. So I'm following in with the Go Gurt Leave-In Conditioner which is meant to reduce tangles and combing damage and add moisture to your hair. I added that in right after rinsing the 
previous conditioner that I was using and here I'm just gonna kind of rub it in a little bit more to make sure that it's really penetrating these strands of mine so as I mentioned this leave-in is meant to reduce tangles and add moisture for me personally it did more of the former than the latter all right y'all so we're almost at the home stretch we've detangled we've moisturized we're about to stretch but before we do that we are going to go in with this scalp serum that has a lot of pretty good ingredients and in it. it has biotin pomegranate juice etc um, and we all know healthy scalp equals healthy hair so the serum is meant to be used twice a day which I don't know how realistic that is but um, here you see me applying it to my scalp it comes out as a white almost milky consistency but once you rub it in it um, it rubs in clear and finally we've reached the last step we are going to be going in with the Lux and long curl enhancing smoothie using a generous amount I'm going to rub that into this section then I am going to go in with my brush to kind of smooth things down and make sure that when we do try to style it everything you know is uniform and smooth we'll see that once I finally take down these twists slash bantu knots that my hair was just shining 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 yeah and even looking at them now you can see how how moisturized and how healthy um, the bantu knots or whatever you want to call them look so you guys have no idea how excited and happy I was to finally get to the last section for this modified bantu knot I wanted to just show you all one last time how I achieve it I basically twist my hair up halfway then I start twirling the strand around my finger and wrapping it around the twist um, pushing it up and kind of scrunching it um, to create a tight bantu knot this was just the most logical way for me to do this because the traditional bantu knot doesn't really work with my hair Okay, so I didn't end up taking the Bantu knots out the following day just because I was afraid it wasn't completely dry. So it actually stayed in my hair for about two days. Um, so as far as taking this down, I kind of just undo the Bantu knot, try to undo the twist, shake my hair up a little bit so that I can find where it naturally separates and reduce as much frizz as possible. Um, one thing that I did take into consideration this time around was I didn't wrap the ends as tightly as I should have so you'll notice that there is still a little bit of frizz there but overall you can see that my hair is pretty well moisturized it's smooth it's shiny aside from the ends that really have to do with the technique um, that I use in stretching my hair guys this is the final look as you can see that I came up with let me just start off before I go into my final words on these products I am never doing bantu knots on my hair again <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell through that whole style takedown part of this video that I was really struggling because you know there's certain things you have to accept as a natural if you're in the beginning stages and you have your teeny weeny afro you have to accept that there are certain styles you can't achieve on your hair that will probably be better off when it grows longer. And as somebody with a longer hair, you just have to accept that there's certain styles you cannot achieve with all this going on on your head. So Bantu knots is just something I have to retire until I cut my hair way in the future. It took like an hour and a half for me to Bantu it up. And then to take it down even took longer. And then trying to like unravel the... T Girl no more I'm just stick to my twists how about that so anyway 
into the products, my favorite and then my not so favorites. We're gonna do it like that. So my favorite product throughout this whole line has to be their shampoo and their co-wash conditioner. Now I know As I Am Naturally is already known for their co-washes. If you know, um, in their original line, they have a coconut co-wash, which I've heard everyone rave about. Even my best friend Tola, she's always talking about how it's great. So, and I never really got my hands on it. Um, so finally using one of their co-washes, um, with this new line, it was wonderful. This really helped me detangle, helped me finger detangle my hair. Um, in addition to the shampoo as well, the shampoo has great lather. As long as the shampoo does not strip your hair moisture, the lathering helps you, you know, work your way through your strands. And so the shampoo and this are great for detangling in the beginning stages of your wash day. Now the products that I would say are not really my favorite would have to be number one, the conditioner. After washing my hair, luckily their shampoo and the co-wash don't really strip your hair moisture. But after using those products and going in with this hydrating conditioner, my hair didn't really feel hydrated. So this is gonna have to be a no for me as far as moisturizing my hair, you know? When you rinse a conditioner out, you should have this, your hair should feel soft and manageable. That's not the feeling I got with this conditioner. So um, I might test it out one more time and see how it works for me. But from this first experience, my first impression is enough. And then another product that I found interesting was this scalp serum. I think it's great that they actually have something like this in this line. You know, when you talk to people about length retention, they don't want to believe the little things like moisturize your hair or detangle your hair. They want you to give them some special potion. And I feel like that's what As I Am did with this product. And so this has biotin, aloe vera, pomegranate juice, all these things in it that I think is wonderful. Um, and another thing I, I do actually like about it is the consistency. It's water-based so it's not greasy. You're not like adding grease to your scalp. The only issue I have with this though, however, is the directions say um, to use twice daily for the best results. Who, somebody comment down below, comment down below. Who uses a scalp serum twice a day? Not I, said the duck. So I have this um, oil mix that I do use for my scalp, but I only use it once or twice a week. So to say that, you know, you expect people to use this twice daily every day is just kind of, that's a stretch. Um, if you're really dedicated to your hair though, and this is something you think you can do, I strongly urge you to, yeah, continue using this because the ingredients look really good um, and healthy, and healthy scalp is healthy hair. So if you can use this twice daily as directed, um, to really maintain the health of your scalp, then I props to you, girl. <laughs> so the only other products left in this line are the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Grow Gurt. And I think these, like feeling my hair now after styling it for the last couple of days, these are great stylers and stretchers. Like this curling smoothie, it's really thick. And I think that's the kind, that's something I would prefer for styling my 4C curls, okay? So I really appreciated the consistency of this and how it left my hair feeling smooth and shiny and nice and workable. This did a great job. Um, and then the Groger yogurt, eh, leave-in condition, it was meh. It wasn't, there was nothing spectacular about it. Sorry, you tried, you really tried, but. So all in all, my favorites from the whole thing is the co-wash. Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Shampoo, which I do not have here with me. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that review. I hope it was informative enough to, you know, help you make your decisions if you want to try out products from this line. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you guys know the drill. Leave them down below in the comments section. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!